A Penn State sociology professor has encouraged his students to watch gay porn. He's not just encouraged his gay students, gay identifying, LGBT identifying students to watch LGBT porn. He's encouraging all of his students to do that. What's the argument? This is uh, from Sociology 119. Professor Sam Richards says that that even straight people, and especially straight people, should watch gay porn because they might be aroused by it. He says, if you're straight, watch gay or lesbian porn. See how quickly you feel aroused and how you can't control that. You'll realize, oh, expletive, I could be sexualized by people who are like me. Went on to say, we are all at some level non-binary. We're all very much easily bisexual. Uh, it's, it's not clear what he's pointing to in terms of the research that would lead him to this conclusion. There was a study uh, conducted by Cornell in 2015 showed, or claimed at least, that both men and women were aroused when they watched porn of the same sex. And they said that this is evidence that everybody's gay or something. Everybody's bisexual. You know that thing that totally exists? Bisexual. Yeah. They said that, that uh, everybody was that. And the professor said, I might have hit a nerve there. Did I hit a nerve? watch gay porn, he said. See if you feel that feeling. If you feel that feeling, look in a mirror. Say, huh, maybe I'm just feeling some things that I'm just afraid to release. And maybe you release that, and maybe you'd be surprised that maybe you actually are fine being more bisexual. And he said, he he says, I have friends who have spent a long time in prison. I'm sure he has. (laughs) I think that's the only thing he said so far that's true. I have friends that spent a long time in prison, and they have homosexual sex. They're straight until they're in prison, and then they do that. So especially on the prison point, I think what he's observing is true enough. He's saying, yeah, you throw a bunch of guys in prison, and there's not a woman in sight, and they're all a little bit deviant to begin with. They're criminals, and they're all they're doing all day long is working out. They've got testosterone pumping through them, and they've got all these kind of social hierarchies, and the ordinary order of society goes completely insane, and surprise, surprise, you get some eccentric sexual acts going on. Yeah, that's true. That does happen in porn. That's a punchline, or that does happen in prison, rather. It's a punchline when people go to prison. You say, oh, why don't drop the soap. But how does this relate to porn? saying, if you turn on a a gay porno, you might feel aroused. Regardless of of whether or not a student does feel aroused watching that kind of pornography, this is what grooming is. When, When conservatives talk about grooming, this is what we're talking about. We're not just talking about some drag queen weirdo leading a five year old off into the woods by the hands. We're talking about this kind of stuff. What is grooming? Grooming is when you cultivate sexual desire in somebody else. It's not just that you go in and violently take that person. It's when you are cultivating that desire. The professor is saying, hey, you're a straight guy. You don't think about doing gay stuff. Well, maybe you should. Maybe you should actually engage in an activity that is designed not merely to satisfy sexual desires, but to cultivate them. Because that's what pornography does. That's what the indulgence of all lust does. This is why when you hear people talk about pornography addiction and the perils of the industry, and even the way that the industry makes money, the way it makes money is on the basis that pornography does not satiate lust. It inflames lust. It encourages lust. And it leads people down really weird alleyways. People who have have become to identify as transgender and then they leave transgenderism. Lots and lots of them. I would, I would be comfortable saying the vast majority of them that I have heard or read of say that porn was involved in some way. I said, I started off watching kind of normal-ish porn, and then I started watching weirder and weirder porn, and then eventually I started watching porn that told me that I'm a, a woman. So it's cultivating that desire. What does this professor even think that bisexual means? If you're a guy and you never think about doing weird stuff with guys, and you never engage in weird stuff with guys, and you're perfectly attracted to women, and that's what's going on throughout your whole life, and then this professor sits you down in a chair and plays a bunch of gay porn for you, and then at the end of whatever time period, let's say at the end of six months of this, you start to have more disordered sexual visions and desires. That means you're bisexual? No, it means that guy made you bisexual. (laughs) 
<laughs> means that guy encouraged the, the desires in you because he's making a normative statement. He's saying that is good. It's good to be gay. It's good to be bisexual. It's good, and it's bad not to be. So it's not just it's okay to be gay. It's not just not that there's anything wrong with that, which was the kind of 1990s laissez-faire attitude to these sexual questions. It's a claim that, is, that it is actively good to pursue disordered sexual desires. And, and why are people claiming this? It's not just because they're sexual deviants like this professor. It, it follows naturally from the liberationist theology that has told us in increasingly absurd ways for the last several centuries that we need to free our true selves, not merely from the oppressive shackles of tyrannical governments, but from convention, from morality, from our families, from our physical bodies, from our religion, certainly, but even from our bodies, because my true self is not my body. I've got it. That's the argument that people are making. And it's a false one. I mean, it's, it's whatever this professor has to say about the psychological effects of porn, he probably knows a thing or two about it because I'm sure he's watched a lot of it. He doesn't know anything about ethics, morality. He doesn't seem to know very much about anthropology. doesn't seem to know very much about theology. And, and he, is, he is smuggling in all of those theological, philosophical, anthropological premises in this preposterous sort of class. Become a member today. Use code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S at checkout for two months free on a all access plan. Any Daily Wire plan you want. Dailywire.com slash Knowles. Use code Knowles at checkout.